My shirt is a clue to today's vlog. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Yellow Springs, Ohio to a wool gathering. This is one of my favorite events of the year and I can't wait to take you along. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. get the fiber to comb the hair out rather than shearing them. This is a magnet and it actually contains some of the yak's fiber. And this is Ashlyn and you made the, the magnets? Yes. What else did you make? The keychains? Uh, I made the magnets, the keychains, these little kids coloring pieces and those yak puzzles. And what inspiration did you get to uh, put the yak fiber in the magnet? That's really clever. Uh, I'm not really sure. I just th thought this is a fiber fest and people are going to want fiber and it's a way that they can be concealed without, you know, shedding all over the place and still have fiber with you. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Instead of renting a booth, some people bring their shop on wheels. There are so many vendors here, I can't show you all of them, but I can share with you some highlights. I've shown you Flora's work before, but this year, it's the first year she's had her own booth. I've shown you this booth before, and her yarn has lots of vibrant colors. And this is from her Band Books collection. And this collection is based on famous painters.
and these are from her Nebula collection. And this yarn is actually hand spun by Laura herself. I like the name of this vendor. And these have all been made with a 3D printer. I love these stitch markers. These are stitch markers in the form of cryptids. You can also get stickers of Bigfoot hand spinning and the Lovely Frogman embroidery. I love this booth. It's very witty and very clever. They have excellent names for their colorways and they're based on Ohio cryptids and points of interest. This is Cornhenge. Hell is Real, it's based on the sign on 71 North, it says Hell is Real. Grandpa's Cheese Barn, and the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, among others. These are really clever stitch markers, it includes the Hell is Real sign, and on the very right, Butter Jesus. I've shown you this vendor before. The lady has been in business for 12 years and makes excellent products.
And here are a couple of sheep that have been freshly shorn. I don't know if I brought you here for a meal, so let's go in and get a bite to eat. You know I've been here several times and this is the first time I noticed they have ice cream cones for columns. Let's go inside. This cow is called Mugaritaville. For my meal, I ordered a large diet Pepsi, a grilled cheese with wheat bread, pepper jack cheese and cheddar cheese, and a large fry. Normally, I don't have dessert, and I really don't like chocolate ice cream, but this one caught my attention. It's Chipotle chocolate almond. The ice cream was very good. I could taste the smokiness of the Chipotle, but it wasn't burn your face off hot. And I would recommend it if you like chocolate ice cream. As you can see, I enjoyed my meal. Now let's go feed some goats. Well, it was a big day filled with big fun. I got to see some friends, took you across the street to Young's for a meal, and we got to feed the goats. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, share in your social media. And until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. Yeah.